Thanks for coming to my micro drawings channel. Uh, today I'm going to start with having a Q-tip and Copic Multiliner 0.03 for scale to let you see uh, what the size looks like here. And today I'm drawing a northern pike. Uh, this is for Brady. Uh, requested drawing here. Had a great day today and uh, felt like drawing a fish. So this is a northern pike. I'm starting with the nose of the northern pike and then working along the back. And I got to say, this is uh, one of my more challenging ones. Northern pikes, the coloration on the side of them, there's, I don't know what you'd call them, spots, I guess, but they're more oblong or oval. A lot of them are. So those are a little difficult working on the small scale that I've got. So hopefully the final product looks all right. Uh, but there I'm drawing putting the, the tail fin on soon here just kind of lightly sketching it in and I'm making sure it's looking uh, scale wise or proportionately okay uh, there I'm drawing the the top uh, lip I suppose it would be and starting to put in where the bottom would be in the gill plate the gill covers and again, using that 0 0.03 Copic multi-liner. Later, I will use Copic sketch markers. They're alcohol-based, so they do allow some blending. Typically, I don't do a lot of blending, especially on my cartoon drawings. In this case, uh, with a, a wild animal, there's usually a little more blending than there is on uh, like a Snoopy or a Kelvin and Hobbes type picture. So there, I'm bringing his belly around. Again, just continuing to kind of check and make sure I'm getting the proportion about right and hopefully I'm doing okay with that I guess Brady can let me know if I'm off I'm not a northern pike fisherman myself I'd like to hit the trout usually more so here I'm adding the additional fins get those in there there I'm adding the anal fin on the bottom the start of that lines up with the top. I believe it's a dorsal fin on top there. So that was kind of what I was lining up. And I got one more to add. And then I got to get to the tougher part of this guy, which was coloring it in. So there I'm putting pen off to the side and starting to look through the colors. Here's a Q-tip for reference. So you can see that Q-tip covers them up. So if you take out a Q-tip and look at that thing and imagine basically drawing a picture the size of the cotton ball or the end of that, that's what size we're talking about. So off to the side, I, I had chosen some colors ahead of time, but I still had to decide what I was starting with. There's the broad chisel tip of the Copic sketch marker. I don't use that. I use that last one, the fine tip there. And in this case, the fins have a yellow color to them, whitish yellow. And so I'm, I'm putting that on first and then I'll come back with some green, dark green, black to kind of cover that up. But I knew I wanted that base to kind of show through a little bit. So that's where that yellow is coming from that I'm putting on there. And that's why I was taking a little bit of time when the Q-tip was on. And there's a little yellow along the top of the body to give a little highlight as well and now off to the side again I'm kind of looking and seeing what colors I should use there's a q-tip for reference of course again if you're still here thanks for watching I appreciate it um, please consider subscribing for future drawings and uh, sharing with other people so that they can take a look at this too so there I'm grabbing the greens. I think I used about, it was at least three, maybe four different greens. And this is a lighter one going on. I don't remember the name off offhand of it. I'm just working along the top, trying to push up to that top line of his back. The nice thing is the black 0 0.03 Copic Multiliner doesn't really bleed or dissolve when you touch it with these markers so it stays put at least um and i do my best there i'm trying to give kind of that illusion of the spottedness i guess or the camouflage of the pike but like i said this is a tougher drawing uh, 
Um, so there, I'm just kind of working that in. And digging through my colors off to the side. Grabbing another one. And this one's a little bit darker green. And uh, off to the side, I'm looking again. <laughs> so hopefully you're enjoying the very yellow fins and plain green fish right now. All right, here we go. Got a color that I'll use. I'm turning the paper. I'll rotate it sometimes so that I can work that fine tip. In this case, right along his nose or snout. And working it along that top, the darker top. You know, and that's part of their camouflage, that dark top. So if you're a predator above looking down, it blends into the bottom of the lake. And then the lighter bottom, if it's a little pike swimming around, bigger pike underneath looking up, that white belly kind of blends into the cloudiness of the sky above or the lightness of the sky above. So there's a colorless blender. I've talked about this in other videos, but sometimes when I do go over the lines or color outside of the lines a little bit i can fix that by using this colorless blender it's made well the blender part of it right to blend colors together but because it dissolves and mixes what's there i can use that kind of as an eraser and in that case i had gone over the back black line so i needed to take a little bit of that off there's a q-tip for reference again and again off to the side i'm trying to decide what to do um, the fins, again, they have the yellow in them, but they also have some green uh, stripes or squiggles. And so I, I knew my Copic sketch marker fine tip wasn't going to be thin enough for that. So I'm grabbing, I think I've got a Micron that I'll end up using and a Sharpie fine, ultra fine tip as well. And then I came back with the Copic 0 0.03 multi-liner. So here's what I'm going to try first. There you can see it's it's thin, but not quite micro enough. So I give it a shot here at least. I can always kind of try to fix it a little bit. So there, I'm just trying to lightly put those lines in, the squiggles on the fins. But once I got on that yellow, I noticed too that it was a little too limey green, I guess. And I didn't like that either. But for consistency, I went over all the fins with that. And then I'm going to grab a Micron. The Micron has more of a tan tube to it. So a lot of times with these smaller um, whole body, but still the micro drawing, I have to give the illusion of detail and can't quite put all the detail in. There's the Micron. I think it's a zero 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 five. So I'm going over it again with that. And I was a little happier, but still wasn't quite looking how I wanted it to look. So later I do come back with the Copic multi-liner. And again, grabbing a different marker now. And starting to blend that in a little bit. Like I said, I usually don't blend in my micro drawings because usually it's just one solid color. You know, if it's Snoopy, he's black and white anyways, but Woodstock is yellow. So then I just use one yellow color. In this case, there's that blending, that natural transition from the white belly up to the darker green top. So again, choosing another color off to the side. And there I'm coming back with... It ended up being the black Copic 0 0.03 multi-liner. I just couldn't leave enough little white spots to give the Northern Pike look. So I thought I would do it with the black marker. Like I said, hopefully it turns out all right. Hey, if you want to comment in the comment section below, I'd appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on how I handled this with the Northern Pike. Maybe you have some different or better ideas for how I should do it next time. So I'm just continuing continuing to work. Uh, they're more kind of like an oval or a rounded rectangle on the sides of that northern pike. 
And I'm just trying to lightly put those in. Again, give the illusion of more detail than there actually is. And there I'm going over the fins too. So in, in my opinion, it was starting to look better. What I was doing with this, with the black on the fins and on the body itself, it was creating a little more contrast. Even if my um, black ovals or rounded rectangles weren't truly white underneath it, like, you know, the pike is more whitish, yellowish, um, it still gave that illusion of it. So there I'm working the fins again. And then here I'm using that colorless blender again to, to clean up around the edges a bit. You can tell it, it got the paper, you know, it looks like it's wet, and it is, I suppose. And again, I believe it's alcohol-based. Helps to dissolve, erase, blend that color out. So in this case, it's blending, you know, into the paper and basically dissolves, goes away. And there I shifted the light a little bit. It seemed like it was glaring way too much. I use an Ot light. Um, it's a little fold, fold up deal. And when I shifted it so it wasn't glaring so much, it looked a little better. So and there again, putting some additional details on there. I guess I, I'm not an a expert on the Ot lights either, but my understanding is they really give you a pure light um, and I put it close and try to get it so you can see see things well and direct the shadow sometimes too so that it's not showing on it uh, there I am rotating the paper putting back in with some of that yellow I noticed my yellow was a little lighter than I wanted to so I came back with this cadmium yellow and made it a little bit darker And they're uh, cleaning up a little bit around the fins, a little bit more. Rotating it around, working along the, that tail fin, trying to clean it up. Getting close to finished here now. And here comes the Q-tip again for reference. So again, the size of a Q-tip end. Again, if you got any comments, please leave them below. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing. And for size comparison too, here's a pencil. So the point of a pencil doesn't take much of it to cover them up. And there's the eraser end of the panel, pencil. Covers them up well as well. And then here's a quarter for reference. So I don't know how many northern pike could fit in that quarter. I'm going to guess 10 or so, especially if they bent around a little bit. So again, thanks for watching, checking out the micro drawings challenge or channel, excuse me. I am doing a 366 day micro drawing challenge. And lastly, here comes the date. It is July 8th of 2020. Getting that on there nice and micro as well. And then my initials. Thanks for watching.